Hello everybody and welcome back to our date time library explanation. So what we did in the previous video is we took a simple look at basically multiple ways of actually interpreting the actual date and time also by selecting a certain part of a date and time such as hours, minutes, seconds, microseconds. We also saw the conversion of the time to seconds. We also saw how we can actually subtract a time from a time in order to get the amount of days that has passed between those two values of time. And right now we're going to take a look at the Python format date time. Now the way date and time is represented may be different in different places, organizations. It's more common to use the month, the first month and then day and then year in the US where the actual day month and then year is more common in the Europe such and the in order for us to actually convert that Python has two functions which is the string from time and strip time Met basically those are methods from the daytime library that allow us to do this so we're first of all going to take a look at the string from time or basically strf time which is in the daytime library it will uh, turn the daytime object into a string. So let us open up our idle. Now the reason why we are doing so much of this date and time is because it is really important for you to understand this, even though you might not really use it afterwards, but basically if you don't think that you will need this much of date and time conversion, manipulation, seconds, minutes, hours, microseconds, and so on, uh, feel free to skip this section. Basically, it might, uh, if you really do think that you will not need it. But for those of you that actually do count of the, do this kind of tasks, such as autom automatization, such as calculating what has to be done at certain time, you will enjoy this actual time demonstration and you will also use it later on a lot. So right now, let us see how we can actually convert the daytime object into a string. So uh, first of all, we need to import the daytime. So from daytime, we're going to import datetime. So we don't actually write a datetime twice. And then we're going to select what we did in the previous video, which is the current date and time, which you can do simply just specifying now equals, and then calling the datetime class and the method now from that class. If you just print now, you will see that it will be equal to this current time. Okay. And right now, let's say we actually want to convert this into a string. So we can do something like this. T equals now, oops, now dot string from time. And in order to convert it, you simply need to specify percent capital H for hours, then two dots percent capital uh, M for months, or pardon me, pardon, not for months, for minutes, and then percent uh, capital S for seconds, and that all has to be divided by these two dots or by a con. Okay, and then if you print T, you can see it will print out only the current time in hours, minutes, and seconds. If you want to, for example, print also day, days, months, and years, you can simply just type here T1 equals now dot string from time use the uh, smaller uh, smaller percent m for the month then slash percent d for the day and slash percent uh, capital y for the year then comma and then we can simply just copy this so we don't type it once again this will just actually uh, if we print it out, you will see it will print the same amount of time. Just right now, it will be a string. And we also converted the actual uh, uh, the actual date right now, which was the 29th and then 5th and then 27th, which is stored in this order. We converted it to be in this order. Okay, so we successfully converted it to be equal to the 5th uh, May 1st, 27th, uh, of May 2nd and then 2019 as a year to be the last, okay? In order to actually just flip these two, if you want to have the actual number of days first, so 27th of May 2019, you can simply just copy this. There is not really much we will change right here, except for right here will be M and right here will be days, as well as this will be T2. And if you just print T2, 
you will get the desired output of the date. As we can see, 27th of May 2019 is the output of the actual date right now. Okay, so those are the ways you can actually manipulate in order to check the format of a date. Now, we know that the percent %y, percent %m, percent %d, percent %h are format codes. The string from time method takes one or more format codes and returns unformatted string based on it. So we can see that the percent %y equals for year, the percent %m is for month, the percent %d is for day, the percent %h is for hour, the percent %m is for month, and the percent %s is for second. Now, don't confuse the percent %d with the integer. Now, this will only work as a day inside this function right here if you use percent %d in without this function you will get outputted then integer because and then this will not work so make sure that you know that this percent %d is referring to uh, a day inside this string from time function okay and right now uh, let us take a look at the python strip time function or string to date time uh, basically, what this strip time method creates is a date time object from a given string. It is representing date and time at the same, uh, basically, time. So, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a date string, which we can write something like this. So, we can be 27th May 2019. So, this is a simple string. We can print it if we want to just to make sure as we can see right here 27th may 2019 and let's see how we can actually convert this to a date time object so we have a date string and right now we want to create a date object to be equal to date time and we use the function strip time or strp time and in between the brackets we need to specify two things. We need to specify the string that we want to actually convert, and we also need to specify the format for that string that we are converting. So first of all, we are converting the date string, and then comma, and right here we need to specify the format, which is going to be percent %d for days, then percent %b, which is basically for the months, just in the actual letters, and you will see just or pardon me, not in the actual letters, just converting it from the letters to the actual month. That's why we are using percent %b and then percent %y. Percent %y for the actual year. Oops. Time data does not match format. Yeah, okay, we need to actually switch this up. Let me just... Or do we actually? It doesn't match this format. What do you mean? Yeah, we have an extra comma. Doesn't even matter. Let us delete this. Press here, enter. You can see right now we no longer have error. The reason we got error is because of this comma right here, which is no to be found, not to be found in this actual date string. And right now, if you simply just print date object, it will print out the date object of time. So basically 20, 2019, 5th of May, uh, 27th of May, and the hours, seconds, and minutes are not really set at the moment. So we converted the actual uh, string to the actual date time object, and we also converted it by the actual format that we need. So that would be about it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!